Hello. Um, doing this job, and I just want to create uh, a new drawing process. So sometimes I do the columns vertically, vertical, and sometimes I do them horizontal. So I just output one column here, and you will see that it is vertical. So for this one, I'm going to switch it to horizontal. So what I have been doing previously is if I come back here, uh, this is the drawing process I'm using for this job. So what I would do is go into the drawing process, user drawing process, selected assemblies, this one here. And then what you want to do is you want to check what column drawing it's using, right? So it's using, or sorry, what, I'm not going to change that, so I want to go into it. So you can see the column is using the ADM column. So what I would then do is go into the process. And then... Uh, sorry. I'm going to go in here and go to assemblies. ADM column. So what I would do... So I, you can see I've created another one here, which I did in a previous video. So here you can see that the arrangement is this way. So, and then if you go to the other one here, we can see it is the other way. So let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, so the difference is here perpendicular. So in this one, I have it perpendicular and this one is horizontal. So what I do then, some jobs, if the columns are regular jo columns, I'll just leave them vertical. So what I would do then sometimes is just come into the drawing process and then just, you can just change this in here, right? But this is obviously a waste of time. So you can change this to this one. What you really need to do is either change it full time or create a new one, right? So. I'm going to cancel out that. So you're going to come here and copy, not deep copy. And I'm going to call this assemblies column. So uh, assemblies, I don't want it too long. So Oh, sorry. Column HNCD next. Okay, so now I have created a new one. So I'll leave this as assemblies because sometimes I'll use this for all of them. And then columns the column one is just going to be for the horizontal ones so you're going to come in here at this level and you also want to change this uh, assembly selected okay and then you want to come down here file name selector That one is okay. You can leave that the same because I want to have it on that drawing. And then you want to come down here and uh, I'll just change this to assemblies column as well. Or sorry, I don't want to change that. We want to create a new one, right? So we want to add one. Uh, if you make the mistake of renaming that, just cancel out of it. Assemblies column ADM. Okay, and then you want to come in here and you want to change this to the horizontal. Apply. Okay. All right, that seems right. And um, this one seems right. Apply. Okay, so that is applied. Now let's close that out. And let's shut this down. 
and we'll just open it up again sorry if you can hear that panting it's my dog underneath the desk he just went for a long run and he's quite tired so let's open this job and let's see all right so let's all right so what i'm going to do now is we're going to open this back up again so we're going to go to the draw process and there it is there and let's go here and we can see we have assembly column each and see d so you could be more descriptive with this it could be column horizontal probably what i should have done right but i can change that so it doesn't really matter i know what it is but if you're sharing your system with somebody else you probably want to be more descriptive all right so that's that done so now what we can do is if we pick this column pick that column and we'll pick the old one right so let's do the old one which is this one and let's open that one it should be vertical on the sheet so it's vertical on the sheet and now if we do the next one and if we pick the column one it should be horizontal on the sheet so now you have the option without doing much to just put it horizontal or vertical whichever way you want on the sheet now you'll have to you can address the clipping then later so obviously we will want to clip that a little bit um so clipping is see there's no x clipping there's only y so if i do the x clipping so you want to sort that out so you want to so you want to have it coming in a little better now obviously that's too short but uh that's not the point of the video all right, so what you want to do then is obviously you're not going to output all your drawings, right? So you can just select your beams first by doing that and then output them. And then you can select your columns. So what I'm going to do is I don't want this column one here, which is C9. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete both of them and we'll restart. So delete both of those, output, go back in and up to date. Let's see if there's anything needs an update. So update required for all of these columns and all of these beams. So I'll go back and address them. So force update. And then I'll delete all the columns out of it. All right. So I see there's double columns because some of them weren't updated. So I'm going to delete those. Now, if I go back in, I'll just double check. Columns up to date. There are no columns. There are columns. All right, so let's see. Go back in. All right, so there's no columns there now. Uh, you can see unknown. They're probably still in here. No, they're gone from there also. Okay, so cancel out that. Now you could have a filter for columns, filter for columns on different phases, whatever you want, or query I should say. Or you can just select similar, anything that's on the same layer will be picked, and that is all the columns. And then just go to that new one, I did this one here. So it's outputting those drawings for all these. When we're done with that, we'll go in and just check the drawing process one more time. Or the drawing style, sorry. We're going to check the drawing style again. 
I just want to check the scale and everything. So let's just check this one. Show assembly detail. Okay, so it's coming out on the sheet flat. It is the scale of one and a half is to one. The clipping is three in the Y direction. So if we go back into the drawing process. So it's this one here, column horizontal, right? So front view properties is inch and a half by one. And the clipping is along the X axis. So what I should have done is switch this. Now clipping Y, so I don't want to change that, right? So you don't want to do that. So you want to leave clipping Y and you want to change that to clipping X. So also this is using the same front view, so I can't change that one. So you want to cancel. So you don't want to make any changes right there right now, right? Because this this is using the same one as this. But now that it's horizontal, I need to create a new one. So we need to come back in here and create a new one. Um, so column horizontal front. All right, so let's create that new one. And then we're going to go same again here. So this is kind of the process you've got to go through. And sometimes you get a bit lazy or like, I'll just do it the other way. It'll take you almost as long. And then you're going to have to do it again the next time. So it's better to just do it the one time. So let me end place from inside. See, I'm not going to be clipping that, so that doesn't matter. And the sections should be the same also. So that's fine for now. So then go back to this front view. And you can go to view properties, clipping. And then let's change that to the X clipping. Now you can see it doesn't come up with the error. Now let's see the Y clipping. as a zero clipping length. So... There's clipping X. Let's check clipping X. And so let's go back in here and we'll create a new one. So because it's not expecting my column to be laying down, so I'm going to be clipping X horizontal. And the clipping representation is going to be zero. And it's going to be clipped in the X direction. And then we want to do the same for the other two, right? So go to the top view. And we have clipping X horizontal in the X and the zero. Okay. Bottom clipping X horizontal. Now I should have done this before I put all the drawings, right? So apply. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll delete this C2 column. So... Let's go back in, uh, see two. All right, so that's the C2, which is this one. C2, and now we can output that one again. Now we have updated that drawing style, which is inside in this drawing process. So let's just see how much or if it has clipped this. Sorry, let's open that. All right, so we can see that has clipped that a little more than the other one, right? So you can see the clipping has worked, I think. If you go back in and check this other one, which is a very similar column, it's just mirrored, I think. Let's see. This one is, as you can see, off the page because if I double click on this one, you can see the clipping is in the Y direction and it's three inches, which doesn't really matter, I guess. And then this other one, the clipping is going to be in the X direction. 
in the x direction and it's zero so it's zero and minimum cut length into the quarter so now your clipping is set pretty good there now there's probably some other things you want to fix but that's kind of where you're at with that uh, i would recommend also making sure your uh, weld symbols are correct and in the right place it'll save you a lot of moving around but uh, you still have to move some levels obviously um, I hope that helps with your drawing process just create one just do it I mean you, otherwise you're going to be moving stuff around all the time and you're going to regret it the next time you have to do the same thing so all right I hope the video helps all right thank you bye